What's going on everybody? Just wanted to do kind of a quick video. This time of year really sucks in the Pacific Northwest. Between the constant heavy rain starting in January, February, the warmer temperatures, the humidity, grass going to seed, and, and just, it's been a bizarre year, bizarre spring. It's like we've skipped it. But some of you are starting to panic a little bit because you're seeing a multitude of things. You're seeing seed heads in the grass. Um, as a result of those, uh, the grass is kind of stimmy. And when you're mowing, it leaves like that white haze, like you have a dull blade. And really, you don't. You just kind of have to push through this. Seed heads come up between mid-May and mid-June. So keep pushing with that. You know, sharpen your blades a little more frequently because, of course, uh, the seed stalks are a little stimmy and they will dull the blades a little bit faster but you're not going to get rid of that haze until those things just kind of go away with the high humidity and the high amount of rain especially where i live here uh, just outside of portland oregon it's been insane we had record rain in april close to record rain in may and now we are on track to have record rain in june along with that has been high humidity and high temperatures so over the last two days i've noticed i've got a fungus growing in the yard so even though i ordered some propiconazole a couple weeks ago everything like everything else in the world is on back order so i had to run to home depot and grab some uh, disease x and then i also grabbed some bio advanced fungus for lawns got both of those for one pretty big reason the disease x the primary active ingredient is azoxystrobin in the bio advanced product the primary active ingredient is propiconazole so since i failed at getting a preventative out i'm now having to deal with a curative problem so i decided to mix the two and until the uh stuff that i ordered from do my own actually gets here um, i'm just gonna have to go with what i can get um, so i ended up getting the granular because that's all they had and got those applied out now i kind of did this in between showers and rainstorms it's supposed to start raining here again any minute so I'm going to let the rain just water it in and hopefully it'll start to tackle this. Now, I'm not good with identifying different funguses, so I'm not even going to try. What I do know is probably 90% of them, azoxystrobin and propiconazole are going to work. So that's what I'm going to go with. If it doesn't work and it tends to progress, then I will delve into uh, more research on figuring out exactly what I need to, to do. But nine times out of ten, uh, this is going to work. So... Failure on my part for not getting a preventative out. Uh, obviously, I'll stay up on it. Uh, probably should have ordered some propiconazole back in the winter so that I'd have plenty on hand, but I didn't. So, um, The other thing a lot of people are going to start seeing as a result of the high moisture and the warmer weather is mushrooms. Mushrooms in the lawn are not a bad thing, and there is no fungicide you can apply that's going to stop them or get rid of them. I don't know where that info comes from off the internet, but they're wrong. There's just, there's nothing on the market for that. They're harmless. They're a sign of organic matter breaking down in the soil. So it's actually a good thing. Now I know they're ugly and they're unsightly, but you can kick them over. You can mow them. You can just ignore them. You know, it, they'll go away over time. Um, but if you remember when I did the renovation in the front yard last spring, I brought in a compost and sand mix as kind of like a top dressing. And of course that compost has got organic material in it, right? So that's going to break down and mushrooms are going to grow. It is what it is. It's just one of those things. If you're really worried about like a dogs or kids getting a hold of them, put some gloves on if you want and go out and pick them. Just get rid of them or kick them over and suck them up with the mower. But there's not much you're going to do about mushrooms. So it's kind of a combination of a lot of things. You got seed heads, you know, making things look kind of ugly at the moment. It gives it that, uh, that hazy look. You've got um, fungus growing and you got mushrooms. It's just one of those weird transition things between spring and summer and it is what it is. So anyway, just a quick video. Just kind of want to let you guys know, don't freak out. You'll get through it. Um, you know, 4th of July is coming. I think by then, it, as long as you're irrigating and you're not letting your lawn go dormant, things will look pretty good by then. So appreciate you watching. If you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the like button on your way out, and I'll see you in the next video. Hey Kyle, I'm in the garage, but I'm not wearing any Crocs. Sorry.